Russell Gins, and this is my first attempt at doing a uh, author visit on the Virginia Children's Book Festival site, and I'm excited, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So uh, let's get started. Um, well, I'm Russell. I am the author of lots of kids' books, including One, Two, Three, Go. Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans, Bird on My Head, Puzzle Looney, and lots more. Uh, so I thought I would start by reading you uh, One, Two, Three, Go. So uh, bear with me as I learn how to read backwards, an important skill. I think teachers have it, uh, but uh, here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh, let's try that again. Over, over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, go by Russell Gins, illustrated by, okay, give me a second. Let's try that again. One, two, three, go by Russell Gins, illustrated by Mary Beth Nelson. One was short, two were tall. How many crashed through the big brick wall? One, two, three, go! One slid down, two got stuck. How many rode in the fire truck? One, two, three, go! One was low, two were high. How many flew across the sky? I bet you know the answer. One, two, three, Go! One said, ah. Two said, yuck. How many rode in the garbage truck? Say it with me. One, two, three, go! One had a magnet. Two used a hook. How many helped to close this book? One, two, three, bye. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's the first time I've read a book to people online. So exciting. And um, I think I'll read another. The name of this book is Bird on My Head. <clears throat> Bird on My Head by Russell Gins, illustrated by Tim Beaumont. <sighs> I wake up each morning and jump out of bed. with a smile on my face and a bird on my head. When I walk out the door, it's so good to know I have a friend with me wherever I go. Good morning and howdy are quite often said when a guy walks around with a bird on his head. I like peanut butter and jelly on bread, but they taste so much better with a bird on my head. And late every evening before I go to bed, I brush all my teeth 
with a bird on my head. Now, things are gonna get a little tense. Once I was invited to go to a dance. I put on a hat and my very best pants. Hold on, shouted someone, his face turning red. You can't come in here with that on your head. Take your hat off inside, the polite thing to do. Then come to your party. We've brought our friends too. It's a beautiful life when your friends are with you. And there's nothing on this page, so I will dramatically say, the end. So, I uh, hope you liked those couple stories. And uh, I told people I was gonna be reading some of these books ahead of time. And so I asked people to send questions in and I thought I would start by looking through them and, and I'll try to answer a few. I like answering questions, most of them. We'll see what we get. Sean Bond of London, England wrote, what kind of bird is on that guy's head? Well, that's a good question. Um, what kind of a bird do you think is on his head? I really, I really hadn't thought about it. I wrote the story and I, uh, I knew it was a rhino. And um, does anybody have any idea what kind of bird might be on this rhino's head? Um, I think it could be a uh, finch. What do we think? Oh, somebody, somebody just wrote in and said, it's a cardinal, and cardinals are red birds. I think this could be a male cardinal, because male cardinals are, are red, female cardinals are brown, so these two guys are really good friends. And uh, let's see, let's see what they're doing inside. Yeah, I think that's the good guess. I think this is a cardinal. Yes, so uh, that's a good question. Um, but I knew this is a rhinoceros. This is a rare light blue rhinoceros. There are very few of them left in the wild, if any. And, uh, and now you're gonna learn an important word, symbiosis. Symbiosis is uh, when two animals or living things are dependent on each other. So real rhinos and some real birds, probably not cardinals, uh, in the wild have a symbiotic relationship. And uh, that is famous because rhinoceroses and, and uh, have birds that come and land on them and they pick away insects that would otherwise bother the rhinoceros. So rhinos get a clean head and birds get a tasty snack. And um, there are some uh, symbiotic relationships that aren't so good like viruses that live on people. But let's not talk about that. Let's go and read another letter from, uh, from people who might be watching this or who wrote to me ahead of time. Hang on a second. Jill Stack of Chicago, Illinois wrote, what animals are in the trucks? How did you decide which animals went in which vehicles in one, two, three, go? How did you choose them? That's a very good question. Um, well, some of it was up to me. Some of it was up to the illustrator. Uh, and it was really a case of what would look good zooming along in a truck. So here you see them. Uh, we all know dogs like to look out the windows, uh, uh, lean out the windows and let their ears, and in this case, tongues flap in the breeze. Uh, I think uh, the illustrator had a lot of fun drawing a giraffe because it could, had to lean out of the window just in order to not have to look backwards. And uh, uh, I don't think that elephant's having a very good time. And let's see, 
I remember when I was writing about the fire truck or the fire and the fire pole, I wanted a snake to slither down it because it's always it's always funny to uh, see a snake. That's what they're really good for, slithering. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually a big fan of snakes, but uh, uh, you can have one in your fire station. And then I thought it would be really too f funny if two really big animals tried to slide down and get stuck. So I told the illustrator to draw these and, uh, and uh, I guess there's rabbits in the plains. Who doesn't like rabbits in plains? These are comfort rabbits in plains. Perhaps they're the only people flying this week because there's not a lot of people flying this week. But uh, let's change that subject too and read another letter from another friend online. Allison Bryant of Bethesda, Maryland wrote and asked me, can you read Moo Cat? Um, of all my board books, from all my little books, that is uh, Moo Cat is, seems to be the favorite. That's the one that I get the most requests for. Uh, let me look around for a second. I know I have it here somewhere. Hang on. <clears throat> Moo Cat. Moo Cat by Russell Ginns, illustrated by Steve Mack. Red cat, blue cat, green cat, moo cat. Get it? Brown dog, blue dog, yellow dog, moo dog. Pink bunny, blue bunny, green bunny, moo bunny. Orange pig, blue pig, red pig, moo pig. White duck, blue duck, green duck, moo duck. Here's a big finish. Purple cow, blue cow, pink cow. What's going to be? Moo cow, true cow. And that is the end of Moo Cat. It's one of my favorite books I've gotten to work on. Uh, and you can find this and other great books at Chop Suey. That's one of my favorite bookshops, Chop Suey Books in Richmond. They sponsor the uh, Virginia Children's Book Festival. They've been really great to me. They've uh, helped me go out to schools and visit and uh, Talk about Samantha Spinner and puzzles and games and read books to kids all across the USA. So uh, if uh, if and when you go out, uh, you should check out Chop Suey Books in Richmond. Huh. Okay, hey, I think I will read another uh, letter. Julian Vecchione of Montclair, New Jersey writes, I like monsters. Do you have any books with monsters?
Do these count? These have evil clowns. Do evil clowns count as monsters? Anybody? Uh, nope. Okay. Ninjas, ninjas, pirates, daredevils. Okay. Let me, uh, let me make, you know what? I'm sorry, Julian. Next time I, uh, I do a, a book reading, I will, I will find a book with, mon wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got one. Wait a minute. Just don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm proud to read to you Monster Love. Monster Love by Russell Gins, illustrated by Steve Mack. I love you so much, I'll give you a squeeze and a 10-year-old piece of moldy cheese. Yuck, monster love. I love you so much, I'll hold your hand and I'll let you sit on my garbage can. Yuck, monster love. I love you so much, I'll kiss your nose and spread peanut butter all over your toes. Yuck, monster love. I love you so much, I'll give you my hat. It's also the home of my favorite pet rat. Say it with me. Yuck, monster love. I love you so much, I'll rub your tummy and give you this arm that I stole from a mummy. What do you think? Yuck, monster love. I love you so much, you're my best friend of all, and the one I will take to the monster ball. Ah, don't say yuck. Hooray, monster love. And uh, I always like looking at the, the, the pages after the book is over and at the front of the book. Sometimes they're called end papers. And if you look at this book, you'll notice they are all greenish hearts with warts and oozing bumps on them. And I suspect that monsters love that kind of thing. So there you go, Julian. I, I had a book on monsters. Um, so, uh, okay, gosh. I was trying to decide what else I was going to do for my, my little bit of time as an author. I would love to read from you Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans. It's uh, my book series. It starts with the Secret Plans, and then it goes to the Spectacular Specs. And then Samantha Spinner and the Boy in the Ball. That just came out a few weeks ago, and in honor of that book coming out i wore a shirt a purple shirt to match the color the cover of this book we both have the same cover today um i don't think i have enough time to read this maybe maybe the virginia children's book festival brought to you by our partners chop suey uh they will give me a, another opportunity to come back and read to you and when i do i will do samantha spinner and uh 
I'll, I'll read to you a little bit of that adventure. Maybe we'll do some puzzles together. And uh, even though we're not doing puzzles today, I, I will let you know that I am wearing my puzzle socks just for this occasion. And I am, I'm going to wrap up soon, but I think, uh, wait, getting one message. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's uh, Juanita Giles from Farmville, Virginia. She says, uh, what's that over your shoulder? Is that a, a guitar? Mandolin? No, that's a, a ukulele. A ukulele? Uh, or is it an ukulele? It's a ukulele. It starts with the letter U. Uh, it's a little bitty guitar. And hmm, maybe I'll finish. I'll finish with a little song for you guys. Hang on a second. Stuck in the house day number one. It's kind of strange. It might be fun. Don't have to bathe. Bathe. My work is done. I don't have to sit near anyone. Teen, teen, quarantine. Strangest day I've ever seen. One house, two dogs, one angry teen virus. Stuck in the house day number two. I think a dog just ate my shoe. I hope I don't run out of things to do. I hope that I don't get the flu. Teen, teen, quarantine. Strangest day I've ever seen. One house, two dogs, one angry teen. No virus. Well, it was really nice to spend a half hour with you guys on this uh, Facebook live stream. I hope you had a whole lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And as soon as I can figure out which button to push to cut this off, I'm going to say goodbye.